So now, whilst I wait for submissions for levels to play, we're going to test out some random levels. We're going to let the internet machine spit things at us. Levels, specifically, of a Mega Man flavor. At some point in the distant future, perhaps. Can I get... Okay, server problems. Not to worry, it's probably just a blip. Let's try that again. There we go. What can you deflect? Pfft, insults? <laughs> I don't know. Nine plays and a score of one, so pretty positive so far. Uh, Electrical Snow made this level. Let's find out what the dealio is with it. Well, for starters, there is no boss, because you can have no boss if you want. And you just get like a little icon you collect to end the level. Some people prefer... Okay. Well, I know this weapon. It's the Shine weapon that they've added um, for reasons. It's from Smash Brothers, basically. It's the reflector that Fox and Falco have. And I guess the gimmick here is use it a lot. Because it reflects projectiles and you can do uh, this bullshit with it as well. Which is not entirely fair. Alright, not sure that thought. Whoa! This is the only weapon I've got, isn't it? Oh, I've also got the Nado, also from Smash Brothers, and it, I believe it's Mega. Mega Man. Nope! It's Meta Knight. That, that. Okay, so the premise of this level is hold the fire button a whole bunch. Yep. Eh. Urgh. Well, this is taking a long time. Yeah, that's pretty much what this level is, huh? It's just hold the fire button. The game. The movie. The game. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a neat weapon, and I've seen some levels built around it that are quite clever, that use a lot of its different features. This, though, I'm not sure is it. Uh, also, checkpoints in every room seems a little excessive, given how no damage I've taken thus far. Because, I mean... I mean... Okay, well, I deserve that. Compl uh, right. But it's mostly just I'll be the level. Or uh, page up, in my case. Yes, I have a weird keyboard control set up, because, well, my control doesn't work properly. Give me a fucking break. Okay, maybe I was meant to use the tornado for this one, huh? That's the impression I'm fucking getting. All of a sudden. Wow, that really isn't doing it, is it? Alright, fine. We'll just about. Well, whatever else it is, this level is not much fun to play. I'm gonna have to say that outright. It's just kind of... Yeah, there's the end of the level right there. Let's just go ahead and uh, damage boost into that. Get this over with. Yay. Well, sorry my bud, but I, uh, I hated that quite a lot. Sorry. Let's try a different random level and hope that the quality improves. We can only hope that it will load the level. Uh, uh, okay, Mega Man Chronicles, Chapter 1. 16 plays, score 4. Seems pretty good. Let's see if it lives up to that reputation. So now you've got to be Top Man. Top Man! For reasons. He wasn't in... Never mind. It's irrelevant what I was going to say. We've got forest action on our hands. This seems weirdly familiar. Is this Woodman's actual stage? Layout, but with different enemies. Okay, what's the deal here? I mean, you're seeing this, right? Am I supposed to go down there? Yes, alright. Well, that wasn't very clear, was it? Didn't exactly make it apparent that that wasn't a death pit. So you just wanted me to be the Okay, okay, okay. That was sudden and lasery. Now, as I understand, this game, this Mega Maker, includes three different kinds of laser that we haven't perhaps seen before. Uh, there's the standard one, the insta kill laser that we're all familiar with, but then there's one that uh, drains your health gradually. And then there's one, the other one, I don't remember what that does, but I think the green one that we saw down here is the gradual one. So it's not instant death. But it's still a bit all the oh, that's instant death though, isn't it? There are spikes down there. Weirdly stripy ones. I don't remember the Mega Man's they were from. Someone educate me if you can. 
has two origins. All of those spikes, those spikes right down there. You'll see them in a minute. The bright orange fucking stripey ones. Ah, fuck you. Just fucking... Alright. We get to do things now. Checkpoint! Huzzah! No, that's a reasonably clever placement. I'm gonna give them that. I have charge shot though, so I have to do this the same way. Oh, okay. That's fine. I can actually live with that placement. That's pretty good. Let's see now what you can do with these things, flippy things. I'm a big fan of this uh, this stage element. I use it quite a lot myself. It's quite uh, skill demanding, at least to a degree. He oh, this better not be a teleport maze. Nah, it seems fine. Alright, I forgive you. It's kind of a neat idea, actually. That's a hell of a lot of branching paths if they all go to a different place. You get lots of credit for that innovation. Wow, this is taking a while. So I guess you didn't really want anything to be going on during this period. Is this like a space lift? Is that the idea? Jesus! Mega Man 10 called. It wants its inexplicable space final level back. Oh, oh, oh holy crap. Nah, those bats are cleverly hidden, aren't they? You crafty bastard. I'll get you. Oh, a boss room with spikes. Well, that seems fair. Especially when the boss is top man, who's reasonably easy. When there aren't spikes all over the floor. Yeah, so you don't really have the room to do the slide you might like to. Oh, I'm bad at Mega Man, it would seem. Easy bit of checkpoint here, Hooper Garble, right? Ah. Yeah, well, screw you too, Metal. I've outsmarted you! <laughs> don't know why I'm so angry at the Metal. It's not his fucking fault I sucked at the boss. Now is it? Nevertheless, I will blame that guy. Alright, round two with this dear friend. So I'm fine as long as I'm there. Yeah, as long as I get to the end of the room, I'm okay. Okay, so all it really does is just forces you to actually participate a little more than the original boss had you do. Perhaps. I just jumped straight into those. I just welcomed them with open arms and just went, hug a spike. Hug a fucking spike. Do it! Do it now! I swear to Christ, if you don't do it. If you don't do it. Then who will the Spike Lovers Brigade? <laughs> They're not real, I made them up. At least I hope I made them up. I don't want them to be real. I don't want them to exist any longer. Then they already don't. Hey oh! Well I missed my opportunity to shoot in there, didn't I? Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Sadness! I'm gonna get hit here. That's alright, I can outlast him if I just keep my pro strats going. See? Pro fucking strats. Right there. <laughs> also known as hammer the fire button until your finger explodes or your keyboard breaks or both. Well, it was pretty good apart from that kind of dickatry move at the beginning with the pit, so yeah. Alright. What have you got for me now, internet machine? Snow Roadway, score 5. This must be an amazing level. And it's got Pharaoh as the boss, so that's good. I like me Pharaoh Man, what can I say? This is Oil Man's music from Mega Man Thingy Niblog. The, the PSP one that was Mega Man 1 with two extra Robot Masters to make it the same as every other Mega Man. I am yet to finish that. I did like it quite a lot, though. But that is Megamans. You can't go that. Whoa! Can't go that wrong. Oh, ice physics. I love them. You know I love them. You know I'm so happy when people use ice physics in their levels. <laughs> I am yet to build an ice level in this game. I probably will. It's just going to be my little imprint of hate on the world. Oh, that screen. Uh, ugh. So, I have a thing about screen transitions. <laughs> I like them to be smooth, and this one is not. It does jitter around an awful lot. Also, there should be some ground down there, maybe. It's to do with how you use the different screen transitions. There's obviously the flippy one that you're familiar with from Mega Man, and there's just the open scrolling one like this. So you've got this thing, and then you... Oh! 
Alright, well, never mind what the fuck I was talking about. Ferroman wants to, to fucking rumble right now. That, that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, I liked that. That was kind of... I'd never even thought to try something like that. Consider that fucking idea stolen. <laughs> oh my, yes. That's brilliant. That's drama battle having. Fair man. And it's fair. Okay, you know what? I didn't use any weapon. Wait, why is there a block for a weapon we don't have? I didn't even know you could do that. I thought you could only use uh, either weapons you'd already put into your level or have them be indestructible. I'm learning a lot here, it would seem.